And, and if you're not sure what slash 24 means, uh, that tells us how many bits are the network portion. So if there's 32 bits in IP address, we're using 24 of those bits for our network po portion, and 8 are remaining for our hosts. So we can use those bits for whatever we want. So this, this diagram or this chart shows us exactly what uh, how many bits we need to borrow for for to, to subnet this this IP address in order to get what our boss wants so we have to look at this our N stands for network and our H stands for host so if we need six networks we're going to need to borrow three bits uh, that would give, give us eight networks but n minus 2 um, because uh, older equipment cannot use the first subnet which would include the network address and we can't use the last one because that would include the broadcast address but with newer equipment you can use those IP address but for Cisco tests it's if they state otherwise, it's you follow n minus two. So we're going to borrow th uh, three bits for our network, and we're going to have five remaining for our host, and that would give us draw a line here. That would give us eight networks and thirty-two hosts and that would meet our requirements. We would have um, a couple of IP address, addresses left over in each um, subnet, which is always good in case of expansion. Um, and you can just easily add those new devices on your network without having to redesign everything. So now that we know that, we're going to start our network uh, addressing scheme. Just make some room here. Okay. I'll just shrink this down. So we're going to be borrowing three bits. Oops. Okay. We're going to be borrowing three three bits and what we need to do um, is find our magic number. Now the magic number is a, a way to help us you know, find out what our networks go by or the range of each network. Um, I believe my teacher she said something about I don't know. It's just this is how I know it as is our magic number tells us what each of our network addresses for our subnets are going to be. Um, so in order to find that out, um, the chart tells us if we're borrowing three bits, the value of that last network bit is 32. So that's going to be our magic number and our inter interval. So um, our network is going to look like our, our ranges. We're going to start off by you on your paper. This is what you want to put on there. I'm going to put uh, network at the top. to be our range. And then we're going to have a broadcast address. Now our broadcast address is the address that uh, the devices on your network use in order to send out a broadcast message which is 
a message that will be received by every host on that network. So if they need to update or send out DHCP, they send it out on that IP address. Uh, so that's what we want to have it look like. So now we're going to start off by um, making our first our first uh, subnet, which is 192.168.1.0. You can see that that's our our, uh, our original IP address that we received. So that's our first network. Now you may be wondering, okay, so what's next? Where do I, you know, what do I do with this magic number thirty-two? Well. Our, our network portion of our IP address is 192.168.1. We can't touch that. But what we can do is we can edit our anything in the last octet. So what we do with that magic number, we add on to that last octet. So after that, it would be... Increase the font here. 192. 168.1.32. For that, we would have 192.168. And you add 32 to the previous network. So 32 plus 32 is 64. 